Hi, welcome back to Bounce Forward with me, Tip Hall. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm recording this podcast, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present. Alice has a question. Hey, Tiff, I saw Taylor Swift's workout routine recently and would love to know what you think of it, if it compares to any athletes or celebs that you have trained over the years. Oh, Alice, I love Taylor, big Swifty over here. And um, I went to her concert and she is impressive. She was performing, running up and down that massive stage for three hours, singing and dancing, like her cardio was next level. I did a little bit of research and I found some quotes from Taylor's PT, Kirk Myers, and he said there was an off-season where she wasn't really touring and an in-season when she was. And off-season training with Swift, they were in the gym six days a week for sometimes up to two hours a day, focusing on strength, conditioning and targeting her core, which was key to her singing and her dancing. Taylor trained during the entire tour still and would average two times a week. In-season training was more about maintenance and it was more likely stability, mobility, biomechanics. And if you've seen the show, you know how intense it is physically. Imagine doing three to four days in a row, three-hour shows a night, plus flying around the world and showing up to a gym. I mean, that's crazy. That's Taylor. That's crazy. He actually pointed out as her trainer that one thing they really do focus on is her core and the strength of her breathing because the breathing is a really big part of your core and fully breathing throughout your workouts helps to strengthen your core and it would be so important for her singing. So her diaphragm, even, you know, from pelvic floor diaphragm, all the parts of the core, really important in that. I've trained a fair few celebrities. If you follow me, some very important people, Training a celebrity is a lot of pressure and I've had a few of them come to me with goals, specific goals that they needed to target, be it weight loss or basic just conditioning for a film role or something like that. And you do need to tailor your approach specifically for that celebrity, whereas in the general population, their their goals aren't usually as specific. So you really do need to look at your training intensity and volume a little bit differently and it's not as skill specific training as if you were training an athlete it's more for aesthetics which is something different for me as well I guess I would prefer sports specific training and more athletic training overall aesthetics but I get it it's image and it's important but I was very very impressed by Taylor's cardio ability oh And I thought, I want to try her workout, which would be like singing her set list whilst I'm lightly jogging because sometimes she was running on that stage. Sometimes she was jogging. Sometimes she was walking. But she was moving that entire time. So if you were on a treadmill for three hours going at different paces during different songs, oh, I I don't think I could do it. Seriously, I don't think my cardio would be up to it. I'm astonished actually. So I know when I, this is such a low level, but when I teach my TXO workouts and, you know, I'm filming 20 or 30 workouts in a day and I have to talk and exercise at the same time, I have to train for that because say now you said, Tiff, I need you to film a program. I wouldn't be able to do it because I haven't been training in that way and I wouldn't be able to talk and move in a video you want me to be able to talk as I'm talking now. You're huffing and puffing because you wouldn't be able to make out what I'm saying. So you have to be super fit and train cardio. And usually I will talk as I'm running or sing along as I'm running outside or something or in treadmill in my home gym or where no one can see me. And that's a way to build cardio fitness so that you can talk and move. And I'm low level. Like I'm just doing star jumps over here and talking in a normal voice. She's hitting the high notes. She is playing guitar. She's dancing. Her She's amazing. Like I am just the biggest fan of her endurance. I just think she's a phenomenal athlete, Taylor Swift. So 
compared to other celebs I've trained, I mean, all their goals have been so, so different. And some of the celebs I've trained have had multiple trainers for different aspects. Like I was brought in for a bit more of a martial arty conditioning side of things, whereas they also had a trainer for muscle building. So it, it's interesting to see how, you know, celebrities have all these different things and different different systems in place to get what they need. Um, you know, I've had, I've trained celebrities with personal chefs and you think, wow, like imagine you had a personal chef, like just cook for you all the meals, have all your macros perfectly mapped out, delicious meals. Of course you'd be in good shape, right? Someone's just serving you the food. All you have to do is eat it. And then do what your trainer tells you. And of course, you'd be in amazing shape. Like there's just some incredible systems out there to support people to make sure that they are in peak condition all the time. And it's that behind the scenes stuff that you don't see and you don't know about that I think is really misleading because you think, oh, that's just them on a good day. It's not. They've got all these people working in the background for them making sure that they get up in the morning and that they are doing all the work. And so I can't imagine the entourage that Taylor Swift would have and the support networks that she would have to make sure that she can perform day in, day out, back-to-back shows, three hours a night. Like, just incredible. My name is Taylor. I'll be your host for this evening. Thank you for joining us here on the Eras Tour. I went to the Eras tour and I was so excited. I mean, it was the best night ever. I dressed up in my sparkles. I went in the fearless era. I had like a a little sparkly dress and some cowboy boots on and, oh, so fun. It was so amazing. And when she popped up out of the, the shell fans, I just, I lost my breath. Like she was just so stunning and her singing was amazing. And even when she did the acoustic stuff, it was phenomenal. She didn't miss a beat. She didn't drop a note. She was just so professional. And I thought that that really shone through. That is practice. That is rehearsing. That is, you know, discipline. And she strikes me as such a disciplined person. I really respected that. And on the night, the atmosphere at the MCG was just electric and everyone's singing along to her songs and it was such a beautiful vibe. She's created such a strong community and it's that power of community, isn't it? It's a power of community and it's just unbreakable. It's not just fandom and it's not just looking up to someone. It's a a community. You feel bonded. The Swifties are bonded and it's just incredible. Thanks so much for listening to Bounce Forward. I love having your company, so please DM me on Instagram at tiffhall underscore XO and let me know all the questions you'd love me to cover. Don't forget to rate and review me on your podcast app. Speak soon. Happy days.